Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Thunderman, and this is Tropico 6. And I have enjoyed many Tropico games in the past. So... I had something weird happen possibly right at the end of the last recording where it looked like I basically went down to zero frames a second. If you want to catch me live and get to experience technical shenanigans like that, please consider watching me at twitch.tv slash Thunderman. Those of you who are watching on YouTube. Anyway... Lesson 7, Traffic and Infrastructure. Cars! Boats! Terrific gondolas! Your... I'm sorry, telef telepheric gondolas. Your mighty arm reaches everywhere, but the people, they must be transported. Of course, this is fraught with danger. Poorly built roads create unplanned happenings, while bridges are deliberately built over troubling waters. Elevators, they are so obviously traps. Presidente, without you, the people would never get anywhere. Whoops. At some point, you might want to expand across the sea. For instance, to build an oil well over the oil deposit on the volcano island. The best way to expand to other islands is to construct a landing area. It will allow you to construct workers to travel to new islands. Allow your construction workers to travel to new islands, is what I meant. And erect additional buildings. Build a landing, build an oil well. Oh, oh, I'm already here. Volcano Island! I'm gonna build it on top of this boat. Oh no, I'm not. The tutorial says I'm gonna build it over there. Like the tutorial would know. I guess the tutorial would know. Do do. Do 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 do. Do I have to wait on them to like boat over here? What are we doing, guys? Oh, hi, guys. And then construct an oil well. Hold on. Let's first construct a road. Alright, once more with feeling. Is there a demolish button under, under here? Yes. Do do do. Oh, 
Oh, I should probably build a Teamster's office. Quest complete. The operating range of Teamsters is limited to the road network they are connected to. In order to ship goods from one island to another, you need a Teamster port. Have a Teamster port, 0 of 1, construct a Teamster port on Volcano Island, connect the well to the Teamster port with the road. This is a weird jumpy connection -y thing. I want to go there. Come over here, build the steam port. Tropicans commute a lot between their homes, their jobs, and all the buildings they visit to satisfy their happiness aspects. Improving the time it takes them not only makes them happier, but also improves your economy. Travel time is idle time. Starting in the World Wars era, you can build bridges to connect those islands with each other more efficiently, but also at a higher cost. Connect Center Island to roads to Volcano Island roads by building a bridge. Uh, really? But Volcano Island is the least developed of the islands. That does not seem advantageous. Do 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 That's a fine starting point. In Tropico, we do not just park in the streets. Every driving tour needs a start and ending building. That's why you need to provide some parking decks here and there to enable citizens to use cars. Construct a parking deck on the center island and on a volcano island connected to the same road network. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it's probably fine. Actually, it's probably not fine. If this were some city, that wouldn't be fine.
I'm a little too picky. There we go. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Depending on the current era and the individual economic wealth, not everything, not everyone can afford using a car. To provide fast travel for less prosperous citizens, there are some public transportation options like buses, teleferric, and the metro. The metro? Really? In Tropico? Let's establish a bus line allowing the people living near the oil well to visit the buildings on Center Island. Have a bus garage. One. Establish a bus line with one stop on Center Island and the other one on Volcano Island. I am intrigued. Bus stops. Do 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 Just waiting for things to build. Set bus line. Place starting bus stop. Blocked by driveway. Place ending bus stop. I totally misunderstood how this was going to work. Is it only starting then stopping? from later errors are increasingly dependent on electric power and will not work properly until enough power is provided. You're going to build a power plant. Since it requires coal to function, you first need to build a coal mine and place the power plant close to it and add another Teamster's office to handle the transport. Note, remember that construction workers need to be able to reach Waterfall Island first, so you either need to require a landing or a bridge connection. Okay. Okay. Decrease speed, jeez. Okay, um... Overlays. Looking for... 
coal. There's a coal over there. There's coal over there. So... Teamsters coal mine, Teamsters office, power plant on Waterfall Island. Seriously, is there not a label here for which island this is? Because I assume that it is. Construction. Mine. Pardon me if I get a little quiet. I've not gotten a lot of sleep today and may somewhat zone out. What is that, uranium? Oh uh, yeah, actually might be uranium. Let's see, have a coal mine, Teamster's office, power plant. And power plant. Go tutorial, you can do it. Do, 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 do. 
do, 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 do. Uh, construction. Spin, spin, spin. Round and round you go. Jeez, it's a much bigger place than I was expecting. Almost completed my tasks. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing here? Come on. One guy in there. Wait, wait for it. Quest completed. producing buildings feed the electricity into the power grid around them. Only buildings inside this grid will be supplied with electricity. Overlapping power grids will merge into one, accumulating produced power as well as consumption. Make sure not to have more power consumed than you are producing. Buildings with insufficient power supply are inoperable. Construct an arcade on Waterfall and Volcano Island. Construct substations to connect the volcano island to the island grid. Supply all arcades with power. Okay. Interesting requirement. Substations, huh? Expands the electrical power grid coverage, emits pollution. Not within the designated area.
What's the designated area? What the hell? What the hell is the des designated area? Oh man, zoning out. Not a good, not a good situation. That lack of sleep is catching up on me. Do do do. Oh, I see. I see, I see. I see what is the happening. Not within designated area. It's not enough. Okay, hold on. Wait. What am I doing? How? What? What? How did you get power over there? Um... Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Just getting a little confused. And super tired. Don't know why I couldn't have done that earlier. Do 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 Transportation is what cities of the future need. 
<laughs> yep. Just remember, parking decks for cars, public transportation for everyone, and making sure there's enough power to keep everything moving. It is troublesome, but until we find a way to keep everyone at home in front of a screen, it is sadly essential. Tourists, Presidente. Unlike our citizens, they pay you money for everything and disappear without any reasonable and proportionate secret police intervention. Hmm. Alright, you know what? We will tackle this next tutorial. Uh, next time, for everybody who's watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been Tropico 6, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Hunterman, and I will see you in the future.